Nets could take a two zip lead on Yanni and the Bucks. Tonight. Yeah, terrific performance in game one. Can they play better? Perhaps. We know Milwaukee can play better. They're going to have to shoot better, unless, if not, they're going to go home down 0 2. Yes, especially from three. They were six of 30 from yeah. downtown in that first game. But let's get to the big news. Yesterday, the Nets released their official word on James Harden specifying his injury as right hamstring tightness and saying that further updates will be issued as appropriate. Steve Nash and Joe Harris were among those who spoke to the media about Harden with Nash being asked about the prospect of getting him back in uniform. I'm definitely hopeful of seeing him. Um, like I said, you know, it's a, it's it's tightness and we've had this history before which was very difficult to kind of um, like I said predict how, how it will go. So we're I'm very reluctant to kind of make any prognosis. Um, but obviously we're really hopeful that uh, he, he heals quickly. Yeah, I mean, he's uh, seemed to be in good spirits, to be honest. He was talking a lot during film, um, asking a lot of questions, normal sort of leadership role. And then, you know, I mean, he's just physically out. So, um, you know, it's another opportunity for, for other guys to step up. Oh, I'm aware of his tightness. Um, I think James, you know, he, he has high hopes and and wants to be back ASAP now I think you know we 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 want to protect James too we want to make sure he's right uh, if this is playoff time this is time to take some some risks but you know it has to be right to take those risks we're not going to take any old risks so um, we, we hope he's back I think he he believes he can be back but you know that we, we've got to see what happens and only time can tell how he responds and, and where he's at in, in the coming days Let's go over the timeline of James Harden's hamstring issues. Now, it was good news that it's just tightness, not a strain. But the bad news is we've been here before. He left the game on March 31st against Houston with that tightness, missed two games uh, at the beginning of April, returned April 5th versus the Knicks, left the game in the first quarter. Uh, and that was a strain. He experienced a setback April 19th during practice and then missed 18 straight games with another strain April 7th through May 11th. And he left game one in Milwaukee, Frank, yeah. just 43 seconds in. But it definitely is good news that it's only uh, tightness. Yeah, and overall, he missed 21 of the last 24 regular season games, and the Nets did go 12 and 9 of those games. It's interesting what the Nets are doing here. They don't owe it to anybody to give an entire scout, uh, health report now on James Harden. I think what they're what they're doing it's a little a little bit of gamesmanship. They don't want the Milwaukee Bucks. They're not going to say he's done. He's definitely not going to play in this series. So it's smart what they're doing. Obviously, the hope for James Harden and the Brooklyn Nets is that he can get back. But again. This team is talented. They could win an NBA championship with the players that they have. I think they proved that the other night. That's a great point. It's like a chess match right now between the Nets and the Bucks with Harden. And for more on James and how the Nets played on Saturday, we throw things over to Michael Grady and Sarah Kustak at Barkley Center. CS Frank, good to be talking with you guys. Okay, no James Harden. That's a big blow for sure. Mike James, expect more minutes from him. And Bruce Brown is going to get the start tonight in James Harden's place. Again, his presence, Coos, will sorely be missed. Yeah, without a doubt. And similar to what Chris and Frank were just talking about in terms of game planning, think about the fact that Milwaukee spent an entire week after they swept the Miami Heat preparing for a team that included the big three with James Harden on the floor. James Harden was absent in that two game series down the stretch of the season when Milwaukee beat Brooklyn in both. So it's going to be interesting to see the adjustments that Mike Budenholzer and his team makes now that they've had a day in between to prep for a James Hardenless Brooklyn team. As for Bruce Brown, he created some spatial issues for this Bucks team. How he's able to move the instincts and feel that he has with the smaller lineup that it opened things up for his teammates, a level of phys physicality that we know his presence on the defensive end creates some havoc. So for a Nets team that's looking for additional ways to try and slow down a Milwaukee offense, Bruce Brown is going to be a nice addition to the starting lineup, despite the fact that they're playing without James.